Hi, everybody. Here we are in May 2021, and LF Networking is releasing the eighth major distribution of the open networking automation platform, codenamed ONAP Honolulu, for those of you who are dreaming about a pleasant Hawaiian vacation. ONAP Honolulu is really doubling down on cloud native functionality. It's bringing deeper integration into 5G with more advanced network slice management capabilities, and it's building deeper integration into ORAM as it extends out to, to the edge. ONAP, of course, enjoys a very vibrant developer community, having been started by AT&T and China Mobile, joined by Orange, Bell Canada, many of the other big carriers, uh, the major vendors, Ericsson, Nokia, Samsung, many others also contributing and continuing to contribute to ONAP. But what I find really interesting here is that ONAP is really one piece of a much larger end-to-end -end vision or stack that's coming together with now, it must be tens of millions or maybe even a hundred million lines of code across all these open source projects. Something that is now being called 5G Super Blueprint. And so here to tell us more about this initiative is Arpit Joshipura. Hello, uh, this is Arpit Joshipura. I head up uh, open source networking, edge and IoT at the Linux Foundation. And uh, I'm gonna cover two very important topics today. One is just a high level view of how open source projects are building some of the most fascinating end-to-end -end solutions in the marketplace, and then specifically go deeper into an initiative that LF Networking has started called uh, uh, 5G Super Blueprints. Uh, so without any uh, further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in terms of open source projects at the bottom of the screen, uh, you have a whole bunch of these projects and if you see these projects they range everywhere from sort of the access networks all the way to the core including projects like ONAP as well as uh, a new project that just moved to LF uh, called Magma which is an open mobile packet core. What we are doing in this initiative is pulling uh, a set of end-to-end -end open source projects into this concept of 5G Super Blueprints. And once that happens, it creates a lifecycle management and a framework for the underlying infrastructure and the application layer that uh, enterprise networking can use, service providers can use, end users like the government uh, in various countries can use. Uh, and they can use it for use cases like private networks, 5G LTE, workloads across multi-cloud, visibility monitoring, etc. The classic 5G use cases like mobile broadband, edge, etc., and uh, very important end to end IoT and edge use cases uh, for these end users uh, across many of these verticals industrial energy, etc. So, the requirement for the open source community is to pull these projects together into a solution and into, an, into a use case. So, before I get into the 5G super blueprint, uh, I want to discuss the uh, projects themselves and how they align to an end-to-end -end architecture. So if you look at this diagram, uh, starting off with the telecom access, which is the ORAN software community uh, project on the left top, to the enterprise and the edge IoT access mechanisms under edge, moving into the right through the public clouds into a stack uh, all the way from infrastructure uh, projects including Kubernetes as well as data plane acceleration, FDIO, DPDK, up the control plane layer, open daylight, tungsten fabric into the automation layer, ONAP into the application layer. And then for conform conformance and compliance, we have the Anuket project that brings uh, you know, interoperability, open interoperability and, and conformance in place. So with this landscape, let me walk you through the uh, initiative that LF Networking has started or hosting on behalf of the community called 5G Super Blueprints. 5G Super Blueprints are essentially what we call end-to-end -end solutions across multiple open source projects. LF Networking, uh, an umbrella under the Linux Foundation is hosting these blueprints and these initiatives, but it is in combination with other umbrellas like LF Edge, Magma Core Foundation, Cloud Native uh, Foundation, 
uh, ORAN software community. It's an open project where, where we are welcoming uh, members and non-members to join the mailing list, calendar, Slack channel, um, and it is built off the current infrastructure of uh, cloud native 5G demos uh, that has already pre-integrated a several set of uh, projects. So in short, the 5G blueprint is a community vehicle to collaborate and create end-to-end -end solutions. Here's the detailed diagram on the projects that kind of pull it uh, pull together to create this framework. Um, some of them are LF networking projects, some of them are LF edge projects, some of them are CNCF projects, some of them are uh, LF projects, some of them outside LF. So in general, this does not have to be uh, an LF project, but what we're seeing here is majority of the de facto open source projects that has community collaborating are coming together into this Blueprint initiative. Um, if you're needing specific details on the Blueprints, we have an FAQ that we have posted under the wiki. Feel free to look at it. Uh, what I want to do is walk you through how these projects are going to get integrated and what the roadmap is. Uh, every quarter, um, the team's working on components that come together to create some value uh, and solve specific use cases, starting off with fixed wireless, private 5G, multi-access edge, IoT, moving into network slicing and end-to-end -end network slicing, voice services, etc. And instead of walking through this slide, let me visually show you the, uh, the uh, roadmap on how these blueprints are getting built. Uh, on the left hand side we're going to start off in phase one with emulators and once the emulators come in so the G node B and UE emulators for example uh, but the focus is on ONAP, uh, Kubernetes uh, and Anuket coming together uh, with Akrano and Magma. Uh, as I said Magma is an open source mobile packet core that is run by the Linux Foundation. And then the NFVI is a well-known layer so as these projects come into place people understand how to build an FVI. So this is phase one this quarter. Um, next phase, we're going to introduce commercial uh, RANs uh, with N1, N2, N3 interface across Magma, and then continue in phase three with the ORAN software community. Now, the good news is ONAP has already issued its Frankfurt release last year, which had O1 and A1 interfaces. This uh, week in you know May, uh, ONAP is launching the Honolulu release, uh, which is completely cloud native. It is tighter integration on 5G and even deeper integration on ORAN, uh, including some of the components getting used for the uh, ORAN SMO, uh, which is kind of the uh, service orchestrator inside ORAN. So that discussion is going on as part of these blueprints. And once you have that integrated, a Crano under the LF Edge community already has an ICN blueprint that Magma is uh, kind of integrated in. So you can see these pieces coming together and you can now have a full end-to-end -end closed loop automation network controlled 5G network slice that can be used for a whole bunch of blueprints and use cases in the enterprise world, in the cloud world and in the service provider world. Uh, again, as I said, details on the wiki and FAQ. And if I have to summarize, a uh, couple of key anchor projects are important for the Super Blueprint. ONAP with its eighth release, Honolulu, is kind of uh, making a major impact and is one of the anchor releases for these Super Blueprints, along with Acrano and Magma and Oran, uh, and a whole bunch of other projects. Uh, multiple verticals are banking on these Blueprints and uh, using this uh, network automation as a de facto uh, open source software. This could be in service providers, enterprises, energy and government. The specific release that is being worked on for the blueprints is obviously ONAP Honolulu with cloud native modularity and all the slicing enhancements that, um, that have been introduced. And uh, we are really excited that um, LFN and its 5G Super Blueprint project has tremendous momentum. In fact, the community just doubled in just two, three weeks. So we're, we're starting to see a path of faster deployment, faster commercialization, and, and faster business relationship through the integration of these projects. Clearly, we're not a distribution. We're not, we're not 
infringing on any commercial deals here. It's just the bringing the open source communities of these various projects together and uh, really excited about it. So please join the LF Networking's 5G Blueprint open source initiative. Uh, thank you.